Got some questions for you. We'll start off with Gabe Bach from TechZags.com. Hey, buddy, if I, you could just take us through individually, you had 12 tackles, a couple tackles for loss, and you've been racking up double-digit tackle totals here uh, through the first half of the season. Just how hooked up do you feel you are individually right now at the linebacker spot? Uh, I mean, I never think about it uh, individually. You know, I always, you know, put it back on my D-line. You know, those guys up front, they they just make it easy for me to run free. You know, they do a great job. And, you know, I think it all start back at practice. You know, we, we demand practice on ourselves very uh, heavily. You know, it's, if, if we prepare the right way in practice, you know, and the game on Saturday, it's just given. And, you know, that's what we've been doing, and we got to continue to keep doing that. All right, your next question is from Kurt Bowles at the Austin American Statesman. Uh, buddy, what would you say has impressed you the most about the way y'all are playing right now? And do you, do the players even allow themselves to even think about uh, getting in the playoffs since we're we're be in November tomorrow? Uh, you know, we try not to get carried away in the playoffs. You know, we try to focus on you know what we can control and you know what we can control is, you know, going out and getting better every day. And, you know, one of the things that uh, most impressed me is, you know, how we continue to play no matter what the score is, no matter what's going on, and no matter how tired we are, you know, we're going to keep playing. You know, that's just the culture Coach uh, Fisher is building around here. You know, we play with that pride and that grit and, you know, that toughness. And, you know, let's just go back and practice the way we practice, you know, the effort we play with, and, you know, that's what it's all about. All right, next up is Jennifer Streeter from the Battalion and then Zach. Hey, buddy, um, kind of a two part question here. How did you feel about Leon's performance and also funny question about his orange gloves as well? Uh, you know, Leon, I think he he's made great strides from last year. You know, that that's one of the great things about football, you know, a player getting better, you know, the growth of a player and not only a player of a human being, you know, he's he's getting better on and off the field. And I love it. And, you know, I think he did a lot of great things for us tonight. You know, it's big, you know, communication is big. You know, uh, the outsiders don't actually notice how much communication goes on. But, you know, I think those those guys did a great job for us. And then were his orange gloves just for Halloween. Oh, yeah. You know, it's Leon. He always got to do something extra. He's probably one of the most extra guys on the team. But, you know, it's all fun and games. And, you know, he's all about hard work. And he's dedicated to the grind, you know. So, you know, him wearing orange gloves for Halloween, you know, we got to be 100% behind him. Okay, thank you. All right, we've got a couple more questions. Let's go to Zach Taylor and then Gabe Bach. Buddy, it seemed like early on it, it was a little difficult to get to Felipe Franks, but you guys started really getting hitting home on that uh, in the second half. So how imp imperative, how important was it to get to him and how elusive could he be at times? Uh, you know, I think he's a great athlete. And, you know, he, he know how to, you know, find space and, you know, run with the ball and, you know, get, get yards with his feet. And, you know, those guys, I think they do a great job of, you know, uh, tempo I think they do a great job of you know getting back to the ball you know putting pressure on the defense to hurry up and get set and get the communications out you know that's what it's all about you know being able to get set and you know those you got to uh, give it to them you know hats off to them guys they came out and competed and, you know they competed to the end of the game that team is very tough and, you know that's what it's all about and man I, just for me individually you know I'm sure from the rest of my teammates those guys they're tough and they came out to play and, you know they gave us a, a great fight thanks our last question on the queue is from Gabe Bach from TechSags.com. Yeah, speaking of sacks, buddy, late first half, how big was that Tyree Johnson sack on third down? They pushed them back. They attempted a 49-yard field goal. They missed it. It preserved a 14-point halftime lead. How big was that one play? I mean, that's huge. You talk about, you know, the momentum of, you know, getting a sack, how, how I can slow the momentum down, you know, with those guys being a tempo offense, you know, it slows everything down, you know, it let the defense, you know, okay, settle in and we can calm down, you know, communicate, get uh, communications off and talk to each other, all be on the same page. So, you know, if we making plays like that, we can, you know, take them off their schedule and, you know, that's huge and we got to continue to keep doing that. All right, that's all the questions I got for you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you.